Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and I have a package here that actually came from OCD for EDC. But what's in it is from somebody else in the community, Tariq Camille. And this is the Migoron Karaki, and it's an S90V. I did put a beautiful mirror edge on it. It did take a good edge. Now I just have to test it and see how it does. Now, let's get into this package. All right, so, um, oh man, <laughs> OCD sent me some stuff too. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, Justin and Molly. You guys are awesome, man. Thank you. Let's check this out really quick and then we'll get into what Tariq sent me. Okay, so this is, do you rip these? This packaging that you guys have, man, is, it's awesome, man. Um. I seen this on other people's channels and I couldn't help but be a little jealous. Just a little jealous. You guys are killing it. Okay, so oh, it's a tool. Alright, I did see this on somebody else's um channel. I'm not I don't know if I actually watched the whole thing, but this goes inside of this and it makes it to where when you're when you're um torquing, uh say a pivot. It stops you from over torquing. One's a little stronger than the other, and basically it'll stop. It'll it'll rotate if you get too tight. Very awesome. These things are definitely very um, very handy to have because that is, you know, I, I've snapped some screws in my day. <laughs> I've definitely snapped some screws, especially when we're talking about titanium screws. Um, then when they're soft, you don't want to strip them out. But the worst case is when you have um, small, hard, like like hard, um, either titanium or steel, most likely steel, and it's 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 not that. It's not that thick. It's it's really small, so you wind up snapping it, and literally now you have to drill it out, and it's a whole thing. And then we got oh man, I ripped it. No, it's all good still. It's still good. Ooh, we got a, a pen. Oh yeah, these things are cool. Hell yeah, I love having pens. Um, we gotta test it first though. Nice, nice, nice. Awesome. Thank you, man. You guys are awesome. Now I got to send you guys some stuff. Uh, we got some stickers. There you guys go. I'm going to link his channel down below. Go and follow Justin Molly. All right, let me get to this next thing. This is swag. This is... Oh, yeah. Oh, is this one of his... Oh, yeah, okay. So, this is his CMEs. So, this is for a compression lock. Basically, it puts a button on it so that you don't have to wedge your finger in there. So, let me just show you guys really quick. So, here's a compression lock. Now, one of the issues is, is left-handed, it's difficult to do left-handed, so it's nice to fidget with right-handed, but once you get it to your left hand, I, I'm, I can't swing it down because it'll just wind up flying out of my hand because I'm only holding on to it right there. So what I tend to do is I just let it hit my finger and then close it like that. Also, with the right hand, you know, you do have to wedge your finger in there, and depending on the compression lock, it can be, you know, frustrating. Um, this goes like this and makes it where you can just push the button like that and makes it a lot easier. That's awesome. Very, very awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. And then he, this is how you install it. It's super easy to install. I've watched them get installed on his channel before. And it's definitely something that uh, anybody can do. You do not need to send it out to get done. You can do it right at home. And this paper, he says, use as a shim. So basically for in between probably the scale. So you wedge it in there so that there's a little bit of, of a gap in between the scale and the CME. Very, very cool, man. You guys are so awesome. All right, let's get this. All right. 
again, thank you, man. Thank you, Tariq. I, I appreciate this so much. Oh, man. Holy cow. This is so nice. Oh, man. Oh, it smells so good. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I love the smell of leather. This is some nice... Man, this is some nice leather. Holy cow. And I love things out of leather. I love leather. Um, if you guys don't know, like I wear leather belts, leather wallets, my, my EDC organizer's leather, my EDC um, tray is leather. Like I, I just, I love leather. Uh, my bag is partial leather. My backpack. Oh, man. This is so cool. What do we got in here? Some little leather patches. Okay, we got a note here. Okay, so basically one side of this is for Kara and the other side is for me. So Kara's side would be this side. You see how this is like Kara's favorite color. She loves this color. Like it just, it, it attracts her eye so much. So this is Kara's side. So she'll be able to, uh, to put, you know, her knives in it or whatever she wants, but she'll be able to put her knives in there and then put some stuff over here. And then, and we're definitely going to be using this. And then my side would be over here. A little bit of the, the bigger dogs, the big dogs. And all oh, the fitment is so nice on this. I can feel how new it is, which is really nice because leather always breaks in. This is gonna, man. This is so nice. Thank you so much, man. I can't, I can't thank you enough. And then you can close it up and snap it up, and now we have a carrier or a storage for knives. And another thing. I mean, I don't know if this is intended like this, but because of this, it kind of gives you a little pad where if you took out a knife, you know, I guess when it's full, you might not do this so much, but you can kind of work on your knife right here a little bit or possibly on the back burner of it. Um, yeah, man, this thing is so awesome. I'm loving it. Thank you, Tariq. I appreciate it so much. I'm going to link his... Um, all his uh instagram below in the description so you guys can find him on instagram if you guys want to possibly get some leather goods made i'm not sure how open his books are or anything like that but it will be linked below for you guys to contact him and see his you know um this is some really good work I've, I've went through his site so i know he does like wallets and things like that so if you guys are wanting to get something made maybe you guys can contact him very, very nice. Um, again, man, thank you so much. Peace out, guys.